All right, athletes, I'm at work and I'm gonna to try to get some push-ups in real quick. So I wanna hit 100 in a very short amount of time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do 10 push-ups, give myself 20 seconds rest, and I'll go for 10 sets. So follow along if you like. And I'm looking at my clock right there, so it's 30 seconds, so at 50, I'll pick it back up again. A lot of times, I'll do 10 seconds, but uh, for the sake of people following along, this is still difficult. Um, I would imagine even as we'll get into the latter sets um, with 20 seconds. So uh, we're gonna go from there, two, one, here we go. And then the other thing is remembering your set count. So it's important to be uh, accurate with your set count. A lot of times if I'm outdoors, I'll just use a rock, um, a, a set of leaves, I'll break a twig. Uh, we are at about three, two, one, here we go. So in this case, I can just put the amount of fingers. So I can just say that I'm at three and then I'll put out four or whatever and do my push-ups from there. I believe 57 will be where we're at for going into number four. Um, feeling good so far. Hopefully everybody's hanging in. Two, one, here we go. <laughs> That was 4209. So um, keeping form, I know a lot of people say elbows shouldn't be too flared out. Um, as long as it's not like hurting, hurting you um, and that you're actually doing something. That's kind of the more important part. Uh, let's go three, two, one. Here we go. Set five. One, two. So we're halfway there at 2.45, uh, feeling good. But again, uh, form, form is uh, somewhat subjective at times for people, but I'm not gonna worry too, too much about that. And I think I lost a little on what I was saying the time was. So we're gonna jump early and let's go in. Three, two, one. Twenty-one. Okay, so range of motion. I know a lot of times people are like, "Gotta have your chest to the ground and elbows locked," and this and that. It's not for everyone. It just isn't, and that progression can build up. And I'm okay with that. And other people should be okay with it too. Support each other. Don't tear each other down on form and things like that. Here we go. Two, one. <sighs> That should have been the completion of seven. So again, it's a lot to keep in your head and as I'm talking to you as well. So this is why you would want things like um, pieces off to the side that you can count. I didn't look at the clock, so we're probably gonna jump early a little bit again, as far as that goes. So we're gonna go into set eight. Um, let's jump it up in five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> So 30, 430, um, that was set eight, if I'm not mistaken. So we're going into nine. Um, I don't know if I have much more to add to that 30. So we got a few more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. <laughs> Four, 
five. That was like 01. So we'll give ourselves that extra second because it was kind of in the middle. We're finishing strong. And I believe this is the 10th. I'm going to do an extra just in case, just afterwards, because I know it's one or the other. And here we go. Good exhale on the push up. Think of that as like a rocket ship and you see all the steam and everything that pushes the rocket up push yourself up that same way we've got about 10 seconds before this last set or bonus set depending on how you're looking at it so here we go and uh three two one here we go Excellent, excellent, excellent. So the beautiful part about this is you can adjust your time and you can certainly adjust your reps. So uh, if you need to do fewer reps, five, and give yourself a 30 second rest, do that. Um, I always subscribe that you do no fewer than four sets and no more than 10. Uh, if you're doing fewer sets, still 50 push-ups at five, that may max some people out. So we don't want to get into a point of overtraining, over soreness. Uh, if you have questions about form, um, hopefully what you saw from my angles, you're able to see, or at least my one angle. Um, and if not, ask questions. I'd be happy to answer them in the comments. Um, subscriptions to the channel are free and appreciated, so please follow along um, if, if you like. That would be greatly appreciated. And then being able to do your research on not only your fitness, but your health as well. So what you can eat, how you can start eating better to get the benefits from doing exercise as well. And researching things like uh, some of the other YouTube content that has things like how to do proper push-ups, things like that. Um, also, never be ashamed for the adapted push-up, what people call the girl push-up. No such thing. Push-ups aren't by gender, because I've seen a lot of women do some fantastic push-ups on their feet um, and feet elevated. So there's levels to this. So you can do the adapted, you can do the traditional, or you can do an advanced. But that has nothing to do with gender. So don't be ashamed of working hard at the level that is fit for you right now. And then you will ascend beyond that. So guys, I'm going to leave it at that. Hopefully this helps. Please, if you've followed this, or you share it, or you tag it, or you add it. Let me know how this how this workout went for you, and if there's anything else that uh, that we can move forward doing together, or at least uh, kind of just sharing content. So guys, have a fantastic day. HWPO, hard work pays off. Impact Athletics Association.